And how do you know that Al Mahdi is attached to the current state of Israel right now in Palestine? And right now people are asking me, is this the sign of the Mahdi? Is the Mahdi come out? Is the Dajjal alive? Is this is where the end of time? Is this the... I want to fix some misconceptions, brothers and sisters. Let's talk about the current state of Al-Quds and the Israeli state. I've heard some people, especially some Muslims, they listen to stuff on TikTok and other places, social media, and I've seen this trend of a drum blowing and you hear the word Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and people, they say, imagine hearing that voice, I would run. You would run. And how are you going to run to it? And how are you going to hear the voice, Aslan? And who are they? And how do you know that Al-Mahdi is attached to the current state of Israel right now in Palestine. And right now people are asking me, is this the sign of the Mahdi? Is the Mahdi come out? Is the Dajjal alive? Is this is where the end of time? Is this the... I want to fix some misconceptions, brothers and sisters. There is nothing in the Quran or the Sunnah, even in the weak Hadiths, that make a connection between now the current state of Palestine and Israel and the Mahdi currently. Later on there is. And this is what I want to, inshallah, give you hope about. First of all, the ayat in the Quran, Surah Al-Isra, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Those who are God-fearing will have the end. Right now, this is the process. The end is coming, insha'Allah. And the end will be for the believers. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or He told His Prophet sallam, many things that will come in the future. These are all in hadiths, authentic hadiths, some of them Bukhari and Muslim, and some of them in Abu Dawud, and Tirmidhi and other hadiths. When it talks about Al-Mahdi, Al-Mahdi means the uh, guided one. Al-Mahdi, Rasul says many hadiths about him in books other than Bukhari and Muslim. Although Bukhari and Muslim, they make reference to him when Isa السلام, comes by saying that Jesus Christ, Isa السلام, will come to the uh, land in Damascus, to the mosque with the white minaret, and he will see their Amir. The Amir means Amir al-Mu'mineen, the leader of the believers. So inshallah, it's a Khilafah. And the Amir will step back to say, it's a time of Salat, will say to the, to the Isa alayhi salam, come and pray Imam. And Isa alayhi salam will say, no, this Ummah has its own blessings and its own leaders above one another. So you are blessed, you are the Imam. Even Isa alayhi salam respects the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and he lives by the Sharia and the law of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is the only reference in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari which makes to Amir al-Mu'mineen. The scholars said he is al-Mahdi at that time. But if you look at the other hadith, they are called mutawatir, which means many different narrations, one upon the other from different angles, which makes it collectively authentic because there's so much about it. Some of them are weak. Al-Mahdi, my dear brothers and sisters, will come out, insha'Allah. We don't know if he has come out yet, or he is yet to come out. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. But he will not come out at the fall of Palestine, or the fall of, uh, sorry, Israel, or whatever. So there's no connection, really. Sorry to say that to you. But insha'Allah, what will happen is this. Based on all the ahadith, to cut it short, that Israel will fall. Even by not talking about scripture and religious scripture, the way they're going, they cannot last. 75 years and the core of the problem is still there. And now, alhamdulillah, the PR campaign against them is getting stronger and stronger. Subhanallah, we looked at social media as having harm, but social media also has good. There is a form of jihad which is called the PR campaign. So long as you know what you're saying and you know what you're doing, not just throwing around words. And there are people out there who are speaking, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used people from the Muslims and from the non-Muslims for this cause. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But let's, let's not jump to assumptions. Al-Mahdi will come at a time from the context of the hadiths where Israel has already fallen. Because it says in Sahih Muslim Bukhari that when Isa alayhi salam arrives and he will go to pray in the, in the Minar al-Bayda, the white minaret, the army of the Amir is there. And they will be heading to where? To Bayt al-Maqdis. When Isa alayhi salam enters Bayt al-Maqdis, the Mahdi and the army are already there. And who is there at the same time on earth? The Dajjal. 
The Dajjal is what the Christians call the Antichrist. We call him the Dajjal, the one-eyed, the liar, the false messiah. His story is long. But the Dajjal will be there and Isa alayhi salam will come and his mission will be to kill the Dajjal. The hadith, which is in Abu Dawood, in Tirmidhi and others, says that the Dajjal will come from a place towards Al-Aqsa to fight the army of Al-Mahdi, the Muslims. Yani. And we are already in Al-Aqsa way before. And with him, there will be 70,000 Jews whose lineage is from Asbahan or Esfahan which is now called in Iran. And even right now, there are Jews who live there, but they are peaceful Jews and they don't agree with all this Zionist stuff. They're, they're peaceful people and most of them are businessmen. And they're actually called Iranian Jews. They don't call themselves Israeli Jews. But they're from Asfahan. And what this means is they'll come with 70,000 Jews from Asfahan, meaning that they did disperse in the world, but their origins and their lineages from Asfahan once upon a time. So the Jews are not in Israel. And the Jews come back and Al-Mahdi is there. And then Isa alayhi salam will come out and when he sees the Dajjal, he melts in front of people and he starts running away. And then he comes and kills them with his sword and then blood stains on his sword. And he says to the people, if this was your God, because they start believing he is their God. They believe he is the Messiah. Will he die? And that's when a large group of Christians themselves, they return back to truth. A large group of those who became Christians and Catholic and Orthodox, they do see the truth. And they follow Isa alayhi salam. And a number, Allahu alam, some scholars said, and a number of Jews as well. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. The Mahdi will come out, according to the hadith, which is in Abu Dawud, Tirmidhi, that he'll come out from the far east. Where is the far east? There is a hadith which says that he comes from Khurasan. And the black flags will come from Khurasan, and that's the sign. But the hadith is weak, brothers and sisters, and there's nothing authentic about Khurasan in itself. But black flags will come to support Al Mahdi from the far east of Medina. So towards Iraq and that area. And when they come, they'll hear about him. Al Mahdi will be running away from a group of people, army who are after him, after three sons of kings will fight over our treasure. The Prophet said, Kanzikum. And the, Ibn, Kathir, Ibn Kathir says, your kanz is Makkah. That's your kanz, your treasure, meaning what you have uh, very dear to your hearts. And these three kings will fight over it. Not one of them will, will get authority over it. And that's when Al-Mahdi will come running away and he will seek refuge in Makkah, around the Kaaba in Makkah. And that's where the scholars will recognize him and people will walk around him and they will support him. And then there will be people and armies coming after him to kill him. For some reason, the earth will swallow them as in the Hadith Sahih. And then the people will hear about him and it is becomes wajib and fard to follow him and support the Amir. He will become, he become the Khalifa of the believers. That's basically what we have. Everything else, brothers and sisters, we cannot say for sure.